Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson number 18. We're basically going to be talking today about uh, triggering task based on a calendar event or calendar entry, um, as well as delayed task triggering. Uh, now basically, why this came about, uh, someone commented on one of the previous lessons and said, hey, I uh, work a night shift and I want to trigger uh, night settings for when I'm asleep, but I want them to trigger automatically about two hours after the end of my shift and I put my work shifts into my calendar so you know if my calendar says I'm working from uh, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. then I would want those night settings to trigger two hours after 10 p.m. Is that possible? So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, it is definitely possible um, and so I'll just show you how you can trigger events uh, based on uh, uh, or trigger task based on events that are in your calendar, and uh, you can have it trigger something when the calendar when the the calendar event in your calendar starts, and you can have it trigger something based on when the event ends. Um, and pretty simple to do uh, in Tasker. So let's get to it. Um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna click the plus sign for a new profile. We're gonna call it one oh one. Cal trigger and we're going to choose state and then we're going to choose app which may seem odd but there it is under there calendar entry so we're going to choose calendar entry now title is where you can uh, trigger so you're going to use this profile it's going to trigger based on what's in the title um, you can give it a specific title so I'm going to say work which means that anytime I entered uh, put a calendar entry in my uh, calendar that was titled specifically work then it would trigger you can also put asterisks around it if I can find asterisks on here I know they're here somewhere oh there they are so you can put an asterisk around it and that means if the title contains the word work so if you worked two different jobs and when you put Calendar, en calendar entries in your calendar you put work and then hyphen and then the name the specific job that you're working at during that time this would trigger based on any uh, any any based on having the word work in the title somewhere um, if you take the asterisk out then it has to be uh, the exact word so you would just put work so we're going to do that and uh, that's all we're going to use is just based on the title. As you see, there are other things that you can use for this. You can use location, uh, whatever the location that's entered in the calendar. You can use the description. So if the description contains a certain word or phrase, um, also based on whether you're available. So you, if you have it set to, avail to being available or unavailable in your calendar, it would trigger. We're going to say any. Because um, basically for this, I just want it to trigger based on the word work. The one thing I am going to do is pick the correct calendar. So I'm going to click the little search button. And I'm going to choose my Google Calendar. Google Eric Rye is my Google Calendar. Generally going to be the best one, to the one you would be using on your Android phone. Um, and then we're going to click the save button. And now we're going to uh, create... Uh, enter task. So the enter task is triggered when the event starts. Again, I have this glitch on Tasker where uh, you can't see what I'm typing for the task name, or I can't see it either. But I'm just going to type blindly. I'm going to call this cow action. one you can see it took 101 cow action one and so 
based on this is the enter task. So this is going to be triggered when the event starts. So this would be at the beginning of my work shift or when I have entered in my counter that I'm going into work. So I don't really want anything to happen based on the specific thing. I want something to happen based on when my shift ends. So I'm just going to use basically a dummy task. I'm going to click plus and I'm going to click flash which is under alert flash and I'm going to say calendar profile I can't spell or I can't type I can spell but I can't type profile triggered so when the calendar when I time that I'm going into work it'll just flash for two seconds on my phone calendar profile triggered um, now you could have other events happen if you want to set this up based on any time you have the word meeting in a title then you could have it the enter task be turning your phone onto vibrate or silent might be a, a common thing that people would want to do and then to to uh, add an exit task which happens at the end of the event going to long press, add exit task. We're going to add a new task. Yay, this time you can see it. 101 cow and trigger. So this uh, event, your exit task for a calendar, a profile that you have set up based on a calendar uh, event, it, it happens at the whatever time you have set as the end time for that event. So in your calendar, you set up that you're going to be uh, that you're going to be at work, and you have the start time at 2 p.m. You have the end time at 10 p.m. This exit task will trigger at 10 p.m. when that event ends. So we can use that to trigger something after the end of work. So we're going to click plus, and then I'm going to uh, click task, and then I'm going to click wait, and then I'm going to click change hours to two. So now we're waiting for two hours, and then I'm going to click plus, and I'm going to set up whatever I want it set up for when I go to bed at night. So maybe display, turn display brightness down really low, and then maybe volume levels you probably want low, so notification volume down low, and audio uh, ringtone finger volume down really low. So whatever you want set up, basically what you're doing is at the end of that calendar event, or in this scenario that I gave you, whenever uh, this guy's calendar shows that he's getting off work, the end of that event, it will trigger this task. This task waits two hours, and then it triggers all these settings, which are for night for sleeping. So that's how that works. Now, of course, uh, we're going to use this uh, in this situation in reverse. In a lot of situations, you would want the enter task to set up settings for a specific thing. Like I said, if you're going into a meeting, then you would have this trigger based on the title meeting or the word meeting being in the title. And you would have it trigger uh, the enter task, change your, maybe change your phone, switch your phone to vibrate. And the exit task, you'd have it revert back to what it was beforehand. So maybe turn your phone from vibrate back into normal mode. Or whatever the case may be. But this shows you how, uh, based on a calendar event that's in your calendar, you can have it set up to trigger uh, task, tr trigger a set of activities uh, when the event starts, and then trigger a set of events when the uh, uh, event ends. And of course, in this scenario, we had it wait two hours to do that because that's what he wanted to do. So it's pretty simple, uh, very useful, especially can be useful for meetings and things and just having different uh, task or task trigger based on uh, calendar uh, entries in your Google Calendar. So that's about it for this lesson. Uh, hopefully you like this lesson and this stuff is clear to you. If you have questions or something was confusing, feel free to put it in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. Um, you can also leave any questions about other things you're trying to do 
with Tasker down there, and uh, uh, I'll do my best to try to address those in future lessons if I can. And uh, that's about it. Subscribe to my channel uh, or favorite this uh, uh, playlist so you can keep up with future uh, Tasker profiles, uh, I mean Tasker lessons. You might want to check out my channel too. I do have like 150 plus uh, Android app reviews of some of the Android apps that I think are the best besides Tasker. And so you can check those out. And uh, I guess that's about it until next time. So uh, have fun with Tasker.